Russia had declared that it will deliver its S-300 missile system to Syria after the downing of a Russian plane by Syrian forces responding to an Israeli airstrike. During a UN press conference, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov stated the deliveries has started. He said the air defense system will be devoted to ensuring 100% safety and security of our men in Syria. The S-300 transfer to Syria is being done using the Russian Antonov AN-124, which is considered to be the largest military transport aircraft in the world. The deployment has set alarm bells ringing, especially in Israel. A senior Israeli official was quoted, The S-300 is a complex challenge for the State of Israel. We are dealing with the decision in different ways, not necessarily by preventing shipment. This brings us to the topic of this video. Israel has been developing an advanced weapon for some time now and is expected to be operational next year with serial production starting in early 2019. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes if Israel's Rampage supersonic air-to-surface missile can destroy the S-300. Let's get started. S-300 is a formidable air defense system. The current options that Israel has to counter it may not be good enough. This is examined in the video on the above card. It's strongly suggested to watch that video first if you haven't seen it and then continue with this one. Israel's latest weapon, Rampage, is being developed to fill certain capability gap and add potency to Israel's offensive capacity. Rampage is an air-to-surface missile being developed by Israeli military industries systems in coordination with Israeli aerospace industries. The new weapon was first revealed in a press release on June 11, 2018. A video was also provided where an IAF F-16I Sufa multi-role combat aircraft was shown launching one of the missiles. Eli Reiter, head of IMI Systems Firepower Division, told Ynet, Sending four fighter jets carrying four Rampage missiles each allows us to strike under conditions we have never had before. He added, The weapon offers a quantum leap in performance and extraordinary cost-effectiveness ratio, two factors which are important to many air forces around the world. Rampage is derived from IMI Systems ground-launched Extended Range Artillery or EXTRA. The missile uses a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system INS, guidance package to hit its intended target. The guidance package is resistant to electronic jamming. It has a range of 90 miles or 145 kilometers, has supersonic speed of 1 Mach and accuracy of 10 meters CEP. Rampage brings in supersonic speed which is not present in Popeye and Delilah cruise missiles. The supersonic speed provides a significant advantage as this makes the missile much harder to intercept as well as makes it an excellent option against time-sensitive targets like the S-300 which is mobile. But the problem with Rampage is that it has a much smaller range. This means any aircraft that will use Rampage will be in the target envelope of S-300. In this situation, any aircraft, even Israel's F-35s, will be vulnerable. Keeping in view, it will be very costly and tactically not viable for Israel to attempt an onslaught on S-300 with aircraft armed with Rampage. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.